tuned in to theafterparty.com. You are tuned into the A side on THA afterparty.com. Hey y'all, this is Sucky from the podcast Two BBCs. There's two broke black chicks. We're live every Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. talking about sex, being broke, and living in the city of Dallas. Be sure to tune in every Friday on Side B on the After Party Radio. See you at the party. Hey y'all To a regular nigga Hey y'all Thank y'all so much for joining in It's another two episode of two BBCs two black And I'm Stucky And I am solo And we about to get into the shits We uh, obviously have a guest here Um, And it was last minute Thank y'all so much for coming through Thank you I say oh, yeah. y'all cause y'all can't see somebody else over here So um, oh, yeah. we gonna get into the shits How was your week? Wait a minute Landy got something for me What? Are you gonna Where my song is Landy? I can't oh. hear it Oh, we listen to a song. My yes. bad. <laughs> it's playing in the background while we talk. So we gonna over talk it. I just wanna I, I just wanna hear the song. At least like the first verse. Thank you, friend. I'm <laughs> this is Hollywood Smooth song in a dope playing in the bed. Landon wanted me to over talk it, but I'm not. <laughs> so we gonna let our listeners listen up, listen for me. Even though y'all can't hear on Instagram. Sorry, y'all. Here's the hang on. We'll definitely take it. Definitely. Who she up in this goddamn studio? They didn't didn't pay that life bill. Like it's hot, like it's like a sweat box. Thank you. The AC don't work in here. I think because it's gone. Oh, what do you say? Yeah. I'm crapping him. This ain't nothing but him. I mean, not him. It's a crown. I forgot. Okay. Don't let them hang too low. Boy, y'all let the barely drop. <laughs> Don't be letting her talk to you like that. I really like this video. Like the video. Are we live? Oh, yes, we are. Sorry. Uh, swag two one four shot the video. Okay, Linda, thank you, my love. Which is a female shot at. So. Really? Yeah. That's dope. It's cold. Females take their time with shit. You know, and they give their best effort every time. You talking about with uh, haircuts? What you talking about? I'm talking we about love everything. Said a female video. shot this video. She's talking about video. Oh, okay, cool. Pay attention to detail. Just work, period. Yeah, y'all, so make sure y'all uh, go ahead and go on YouTube and subscribe to Hollywood Smooth so y'all can see the song in the dough we were just playing. Now we can get into our shits, bro. How was your week? How was your week? It was fucking <laughs> miserable. <laughs> Why? First of all, somebody accused me of being pregnant. Who? Oh. <laughs> Our best friend. One of my best friends, bro. It was Kyla, okay? It Why she Kyla. thought that she was pregnant? Because I've gained like 30 pounds from sitting at home not doing nothing. And uh, I wasn't working. I was cooking look, and eating all day. shit up over there. Look. Fuck him. <laughs> He bigger than me. He got pregnant too, so she. Oh, you, you look good. You good. <laughs> About to say, you don't look like no high school skinny nigga. You good. <laughs> but yeah, I just had a real vanilla week. I didn't get none. Um, didn't suck a dick like I said I was gonna do last week. It's just, it was just boring. <laughs> I didn't do it. You got a, you got accused of being pregnant, so and yeah, like that shit took me down, my nigga. I was like, really big. <laughs> She was like, I mean, because, friend, you ate all your food. Bitch, I always yeah, I eat all know. my food. Especially at Benny Hanna. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't never eat all my food at Benny Hanna's. But no, like, I have been eating uncontrollably. And I think it's a little bit of depression. And I don't really know how depression look like. Why are you depressed? You don't know. Because I <laughs> came to the realization I've lost every, almost every man that has been active in my life in the last two years. Yeah. My, both of my grandfathers, my paternal and my maternal grandfather, mm-hmm. 
my uncle, which was like my best friend, and my uh, that nigga knew my uncle. Why you feel like you lost them though? They died. I lost them. Oh, they died. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you didn't yeah. lose them though. See. Yeah, but I can't. I can't pull up. You gonna die one day too. I and, and when I, I do, know I'm that like, shit be scaring me. I be in my bed one day. I'll be too. like, we gonna die. What we gonna day? do? You yeah. know what my biggest fear about dying is. <laughs> and I, I hold myself and I be like, you gonna go get to see all these people again? Is what I'm, I'm gonna get to see them, but yeah. I'm freaking out in my bed, bro. And I'm a Christian. Talk so to the me. Bible says that when you get to heaven's gates and you get through them gates, you're not gonna know, you're not gonna know them people like you did when you was on earth. Yeah. Scary dog. So that. Pissed me off. I, I don't was like, believe my that. Nigga, like, I don't believe that. You don't believe it? Nope. Okay, I don't believe know. everything in the Bible. That's one thing I don't, I don't believe. Because you're going to reunite. It's, t- it's other verses that say you're going to reunite and stuff with your you're family. You're going to reunite, but you're going to reunite as brother and sister. Yeah, that's cool. That's crazy. I mean, when I you get there, you, you ain't going to be thinking with. about, oh, I missed y'all. I'm here. Y'all, you're going to be like, oh, let's party. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I praise Jesus all day. I would hope it would be a very... Great home going, and I'll be really happy to get through them pearly gates. But Jesus is gonna have to do a lot of working on me right now because I'm, <laughs> I'm super frustrated. I just I yeah, feel like I've time, lost time every man. Heal, time will heal all wounds. Yeah, I feel heal. like I lost every man that I've ever really cared for or loved yes. in the last two years. The only man you need is the Lord. Well, and my daddy, like if something happened to That's my daddy, y'all, you, you might as well throw me in the casket now. Like the Lord might be telling you, you I need love to be closer. My daddy. You gotta get closer yeah. to the Lord. If you don't, if you lost all the <laughs> men that you love, you gotta get closer to the Lord. That's, that's the only we, thing. That's it is. what I was debating. I'm like, am I gonna go to my daddy's funeral? Oh uh, yeah, go that's to what we be funeral. debating. I just don't want it to be about us. Real yeah. time. Like, oh dang. Real yeah, time. Look yeah, cause we know we gonna get there. We know we gonna be like. Wait, what? Yeah. Damn, like, I, I, I want to go to my. If I'm going to go to my daddy's funeral, I'm gonna go. I don't have no animosity towards him. I just want it to be about him and not Real him. Real yeah, because it's gonna. Because I look just like that motherfucker. I'm like, that's the ones. That's his two girls. That blah 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 blah. I'm like, yeah. Damn. I'm, I'm scared to go to my daddy's funeral and it'd be a whole bunch of kids. I didn't know because I'm the only child on both sides. So. Mm-hmm. I'm scared. I'm, I'm going to have some pop-up brothers and sisters, and I will fight them at that'll a funeral. That will be fun. No. You're going to fight them? I will fight them. Your brothers and sisters? Yes. Come on, now. She she don't know them. Yeah. They're going to be like, happy. I don't know them motherfuckers. Like, I'm I don't like, know y'all. I'm to Oprah secretly. But like, it ain't their fault they don't know you, though. Like, like if, bust down Oprah like something. It ain't their fault they don't know you. <laughs> it's not their fault? No. no. It's totally my daddy's fault, and I'm going to fight him, too. <laughs> He's dead if he dies. He's just angry just fighting everybody. Yeah. Everybody can't <laughs> fight. <laughs> just At every fight. funeral I didn't been to in the last three years, well, no, I want to say in the last six months, I've been ready to fight. Damn. Because I didn't lost my homeboy, Muncie. I lost my homeboy, B. I lost mm-hmm. my homeboy, Pookie. And I was real close to all three of them. Them was the type of brothers that I never even fucked type of brothers. Those yeah. like real I, brothers. Those was real brothers. Like, <laughs> them was my niggas. Yeah. And to see them go and see them in a the casket and shit, I was ready to fight. Like, I got so fucking drunk, it didn't make no sense. I was ready to fight at Maybe the Maybe you need to go see somebody because it's not I need that, to see a grief counselor yeah, because I don't say, know how to It's not how to that normal well. to lose that many friends. And I, a lot of black people don't understand that. Like, if you lose, like, a sister or brother. That shit not lose, normal. That's not normal. So, we need to... Like go see somebody that's really fucking you it's up. It's not like normal that. to bury your and child. That's gonna be on you because you can only control what you want to do because you're a grown ass person. But yeah, that's my advice. Because I think my friend lost her, you know, yeah, her uh, baby daddy and shit like that, mm-hmm. like something real close. I was like, that's gonna be on you the way that you deal with that. Ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you. Don't nobody give a fuck that they, man. They yeah, be our daddy wasn't with... there for us. We had to get our help on our own. Mm-hmm. So right. if that's gonna really be destructive, that's what you need to go ahead and do. Okay, well, my not daddy switch subjects. There. But uh, guess what I did this week? I've been researching cock rings. Oh, wow. they're fucking amazing, bro. I want to try one. Yeah, yeah. They, they, are they are amazing. They are amazing. What? <laughs> they, 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 they sell like them the at Walmart, my nigga. Like the first sex toy that people actually. That's get. the first yeah, one I hear that's a, with. Well, y'all tell me what that is, cause I don't know. It's like so, a rubbery thing. You can go. Okay. <laughs> I want like a low key <laughs> vibrating one. Like, it, it, that's the, yeah, that's yeah. the best kind of yeah. give me. I want to know why it don't so work. Bad. So it's a ring. Ah! It's, a, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's either a rubble or like a latex ring that goes around the penis that goes all the way down the shaft that has a tiny vibrator connected to it. Mm-hmm. So every time a female takes all of it, it hits a click perfectly. So y'all want to have, have, keep the so y'all rock wanna have sex with a, with a robot? No, it's, no, supposed, no, no, to no. Keep, it's supposed to it keep goes an erection too. It goes on a nigga, but it's vibrating. Niggas don't vibrate. 
yeah, that's the point. So yeah, y'all want better, better. y'all want to have sex with a robot? <laughs> no, I don't want to have sex with a robot. I want to have Basically. sex with a human that can put on a toy that vibrate. Oh, okay. I okay. Well, I just so wait, re- wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, say, go this. Okay, story. so I just been researching it because I be listening to the Lip Service podcast, Love and them. yeah, like I've been listening to them ever since it started. So I've been listening to them, and I heard like they was telling me like it keeps the erection, like it keeps it. I think if you Hard. yeah. For for a good amount of time, so I was like, "Ooh, let, I'm gonna try that." So Ooh. that's why. I oh, people! If you switch positions and a nigga dick get like gummy, uh, yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> that shit is the worst. Yeah, it's yeah. like two dogs. What the position we doing next? Because <laughs> <laughs> I do not like that. Yeah, don't go so, gummy. I want to try motherfucker. it. So you know what I'm saying? When I try it, I'm a. I guess I will share it with the podcast. I know I don't tell my personal fucking business, but. Bro, oh, share. Go to Walmart, <laughs> get the disposable ones, and they come with vibrators. They got the little watch oh. batteries that go into them. You, don't, you ain't fucking with it. I mean, I'm trying to. <laughs> can y'all show me a picture? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'm trying to see what y'all are talking about. Cause I mean, Why are we pulling this up? Stucky, how was your week? My week was, it was fun. I just had to come to a realization that I have to work a nine to five, and it is what it is. So <laughs> I just got to go to my job and then through the week, I got to like just have fun and have like small inspirations. A new Dex mate is, si- is sitting next to me and she is so fucking funny. <laughs> the what picture I'm going to show you, it's, a, it's already on people's dicks. Yeah, so. I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> nah, I'm straight on them. This is how it's supposed to go. Oh, Lord. But it can go all the way to it the goes all the way down. Oh, Lord. It's, it looks like that. It's Listen. Don't let the little hole fool you because it expands. Like it's very, it's very, very, you know. very. So y'all cheap. want a man to cut his circulation off so it's y'all gonna, can get some. It's not going to cut your cut, cir- cut circulation off. Like condom. Do condoms cut your circulation off? No, they it's don't. It's too small. No. So it's not going to be too small. So one are those made for black guys or white guys? There's made for, for black both. guys. For both. Well, for both, yeah. Mm-hmm. So y'all tried them on a black guy? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I haven't tried it. And those guys liked it? Look how big this hole is. She said, ugh. I mean, I didn't ask, like, ooh, you like this cock ring? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you don't ask somebody after you tried it on them? Like, I mean, you I was like, ask. yeah, he was like, he was fucking with it, but he okay. wasn't like, ooh, he wasn't asking see, for he it. He wasn't like, yeah, let me do this yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? The nigga that I was that fucking with that fucking showed with me it. what the type of cock ring was, he, he did it to me. Right. Like, oh, okay. he uh, introduced the cock ring to me, yeah, and that helped. That was sweet. Most men like the cock ring. That's what I wanted to say. Just think about it like every time a bitch bounce on your If you can't please a woman, then I feel like you would like a cock ring too. If you can please a woman you, by yourself, you, you don't need no cock ring. You can please a woman guys. and please her even more with the cock ring. I mean, who don't but want like, dick that's... penetrating and vibrating at the same time? That's like a fucking whirlwind. And it feels good to you too. That's... It's like euphoria. Why do women want everything? Like y'all want everything. <laughs> like y'all want all the nuts. Y'all want all of them. Like every kind of nut. Like, every single you can't time. Can't take no little nut, baby. No. I need the full. Like because what? What y'all talking about? When niggas is fucking, they are neglecting. The clit, the clit oh. is being neglected, so that cock ring gonna make sure. So if he don't know what he's doing, then that's another thing. See, see what I'm saying? Like you gotta get somebody to know what they're doing. Toys are extras, not supplements. Not, not, We're not, not trying like, to oh, replace y'all. It's yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Because cool. I need a body, yeah. bro. But cool. them yeah. toys are cool. they're fun. I they are fun. That was my next fun. question. So y'all just basically you don't even need no dude. Is what I'm about to say. No, no, no. I still need a nigga. I like. I still niggas. haven't ma- mastered self masturbation. I love a nigga. Yet. I'm getting there. I got busted a couple of nuts, but it's not nothing like a body. Self masturbation. Uh, yeah, like I, I can masturbate in front of somebody, but doing it by myself, I just, it's cool. It'll There's get, no motivation behind. Like, it. Like by myself, mm-hmm. I'll get like three <laughs> minutes, and I'm vibrating sheets, so I'm good. I'm like, so okay. niggas actually like to see you. I, I mean, play with you, yeah, masturbate. Hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I Hell mean, yeah. so wait, not, I got a question. The, like, not so, on the video type he, shit, does he get to does he get to take part after that, or yeah. he? Just, oh, okay, cool. Well, you back to that, okay? Better. Better. I ain't just sit here and play like and play DJ with my shit. Because <laughs> <though. laughs> nah, nah, you know <laughs> some some girls, some girls I've, I've heard they just use men for head, and then, you know it's like oh you yeah, you some, gone. I've done that before. Too. I've done that before. Twitter, I mean Tinder. You need to go on Tinder if you just want some dick. Some niggas where you just want some dick. Some Tinder dick and some Tinder head is out this world. Somebody just asked me about Tinder last week and Swear she asked me was I on there and I was like nah she was like that's why I heard is the fuck side if you want to fuck yeah, somebody yeah. and I was like we used to get on Tinder did we ever fuck on there no what we got on, on 
We got on there and we went out like when we was like, you know what I mean, just hung out with some girls. No, not no days. Like when we go out of town, we like trying to see where the popping spots was. We ain't trying to show up and be with a bunch of niggas. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna take two or three females with us. A lot of niggas do use Tinder for that. And my like, boy, pull up. What we doing? Nah, as I said, I ain't never had sex out. Maybe you got up too early. None of my friends either. I know, maybe because it was on like, on a little, on little, little bit too early. early then. I put it in that five mile radius. Dicks just come flying. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, I think it's different for men and women. That's all I was about to say because I don't know. My niggas. No, no, but no, I don't. Recalls, so I like know be on Twitter too. Now. They Y'all was show. on there a little bit too early probably. Probably yeah. so. And we was out of, out of, we were not in our home. Like, we were not at home trying to Yeah, fuck. trying to, you trying to yeah, just find some we females in the area. Yeah, trying to That's good. Do Boy, men just utilize di- uh, stuff differently than women. But yeah. um, this week, I actually had some tender dick from this boy. He looked like you. <laughs> <laughs> he looked just like you, matter of fact. But his beard wasn't as thick. I'm dead ass serious. And he had fuller lips. And his lips was more pink than yours. Um, but <laughs> that fool was so cool, bro. And he was so tall. I didn't know he was that much taller. Because I seen him after the podcast last week. And I, we were just sitting in the car chilling. And then we was giving each other head. And then next, last week, on Monday or Tuesday. I don't know what it was. Um... We was we. I actually went oh, to his wow. apartment. He told me that he was moving, bitch. Let me tell you what happened. I was like, let me help you move this, this, and this, and this. He was like, okay, cool. I was like, I ain't gonna put no boxes up. I'm just gonna help you like sort the stuff out, mind you. <laughs> make I'm not even organized. I'm just she trying died. to get some dick so I can just go over there. So I uh, I helped him. I was like, I, I went to his apartment. This nigga had movers, and he was sitting <laughs> down watching television. I said. I get professionals to move my shit. I ain't moving my shit up in here. I said, why'd you tell me to come over there? I ain't had no makeup, nothing. Oh, you was ready nothing. to move? I was really trying to like <laughs> help him move, trying to be nice and shit like that. And then we didn't have sex that day. But uh, that night, I came back to his apartment. And he lived like over there in Deep Ellen. When I tell you I fuck with that nigga, he was just saying shit that I haven't heard like niggas saying in a fucking long time. Like, he was like, I was like, what time I got to leave? He was like, my bedtime is at 1130, so we can do what the fuck we want to do until 1130. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and then he was like, he was counting. He was like, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. You good. I was like, what you mean? He was like, all I need, I sleep in four hour intervals. <laughs> He was That's like, shit. when I get up, I uh I work That's out and then shit. I read this book. Are you reading this book? It's called This About a Millionaire. I said, no, nah, fam. <laughs> I don't <laughs> he was just like he was just like a different type of nigga. Like he was just talking. Like most people don't articulate. Not saying that most black men do not read or most men do not read. They don't just really like tell a bitch. Like he was talking to me like I was a person, like another yeah. person. Like niggas withheld information. Like I ain't about to talk to this hoe. Like what the fuck? Like why am I telling her all this information? All my business. Right. And yeah. And so That's he real. was just telling me about it's like not off Tinder. Yeah, exactly. So he was just real personal with me and real like had a real good little personality. And he, he was so you. tall. He I you. seen I him was, walking on your snap. He, he was so tall, tall and so he slim. Was and then he was like, like slim and thin, like a bicycle ring. No, he don't. He he wasn't thin. <laughs> and he from um Rylet or Rockwall Why or something like that. Why y'all laughing at me today? But <laughs> I don't know, girl. I don't know. Yeah, watch out for them Rylet. You know they got the most killers from there, like serial killers. For real, Niggas girl. Crazy, yes. I swear. I swear, <laughs> look it up. Girl, don't let that nigga Ted Bundy you. Niggas I crazy. know. That's why we put it on my Snapchat hey, where I be at. I got a question. Was he mixed white justice. and black? No, I think that his both of his parents was black, but he just light skin. I think he just oh, black, okay. light skin like me. Oh, okay. I can just tell who black and real light skin yeah. like you. <laughs> That you got two black he, parents, right? He think he brown, mm-hmm. bro. He swear he... No, you die. No, you are, like, darker than us, but you black, but That's you from the sun. Skin. In the wintertime, that nigga lighten up like your color. <laughs> <laughs> and he's light skin. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, I had a motherfucking good-ass time. I was riding his dick on the couch. He was like, oh, you so motherfucking thick. I was like, oh, my God, bro. Just talk to me like that. And then, um, uh, we end up fucking, like, twice, bro. That shit was so motherfucking good. He was like, yeah, you gonna come over here all the time. This, this, this. And it's probably lying to me, but it was making my pussy wet. So, <laughs> bitch, I loved it, bro. I loved it. But then I, I didn't know it. what his name was. Oh, yes. Time. You couldn't oh, figure out his name. I did not know that full name. Ring the bell. And you deleted your Twitter. <laughs> yeah, my I mean, Tinder. Tinder. Girl, I had to search his number and people search because it wasn't like <laughs> a regular name. I knew it wasn't a regular name. I knew if I seen it. I knew that was his name, and that's when I seen him. You could have just asked him, hey, babe, how do you spell your name? Yes. No. That's how you do he, it. He's smart, bro. That nigga's smart. If oh, I ask okay. him anything about his name, that nigga be like, 
you don't know what fuck my you don't even know what the fuck my name is. It's like that nigga smart. Okay. He ain't no dumb ass. Oh, I smoke weed all the time. Like he is he's like he can <laughs> he's smart. He was reading a fucking book about fucking being a millionaire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he go to bed at eleven thirty. <laughs> and he has a bedtime. He don't even have like a nine to five. Like he has a bedtime. He got he's very like strict about stuff. So he was he he probably gonna be like, bitch, you don't know my name. But you find was found it out, Dallas? right? He was he's from Rockwall. He's from there. Rockwall. Yeah, Rockwall. 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 Oh. Rockwall. Oh, he's from okay. Rockwall, but that's, ain't that Rockwall. Same Raleigh thing. County? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, he told yeah. me that. Rock, he was like, y'all from Rockwall. This, this, and this, and this. He got both his motherfucking parents. They still married. Oh, yeah. Yes, I fucked with Girl, that. He's a good, real rounded individual. What's going on? I don't have a bra on. <laughs> <laughs> My nipples go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hold on. <laughs> I got Rihanna titties. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I always yeah. put them together. I have not even introduced our guests. We've been shooting the shit already. We have Hollywood oh, yeah, smooth in the building. You know what I'm saying? Go on. Talk your shit, nigga. Talk your shit. Man, I'm one of the most underrated niggas in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit for a long time. Had one of the hottest records to ever come out in Dallas, which is called She's So Fine She Can Ride My Face. Now, if you never heard this song, you might want to go on YouTube right now and type in. That was so- you? Yeah. <laughs> Look, me. you said by a superstar, bitch. I did not know that was you. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I made that. For the real, like for the real freaks. But you know what I mean? No, not That's my cousin. That's like my. Oh, okay. Yeah, we family, so. He I know seen- him from church. My cousin seen what I was, you know, what I was doing, <laughs> and he was, um, he was just finishing college, and he was like, "Hey, I can give you my whole network, and we can make some shit pop." So oh we did that, and we started a studio, which is one of the biggest studios, you know, what I mean, the history of Dallas, you know, what I mean, still. Too. What studio is it? It's called a Talk your Fit. shit loud. It's on Instagram. Okay. But I ain't really cocky. I don't really like to talk my shit, but I'm gonna talk my shit. So talk I've been, I, I dropped that song in 2009. Talk That's 10 years, so I've been here 10 years, you know what I'm saying, mm. doing this shit consistently. I love that song. I wrote, I wrote somebody face to <laughs> Anyways. Man, I was just about to ask y'all, you know what I mean, had y'all, you know what I mean, partaking in the riding the face, because I feel like I created this shit. Like, yeah, you know hell I mean? yeah. Like, I niggas wasn't doing face. this shit. Nah, they wasn't. I always ride motherfuckers' face. It wasn't cool. It was niggas saying in the songs that they don't eat, eat pussy. pussy. Yeah. yeah. You know See, what I mean? So we kind of changed 20, the epidemic. What was that, 2009? Nine? I was getting my pussy ate in college, bro. Like, I was, I was messing with a school. real live freak, fuck boy, porn star nasty Was he nigga. Omega? Huh? Was he Omega? Mm-hmm. He wasn't in no fraternity. That's he the was just a, niggas. And he was no from fraternity. Dallas. No fraternity. We don't need no fraternity. I was getting my freak pussy ate by no niggas fraternity. in high school, bro. Like, before I was <laughs> That's working. because PC mm-hmm. had already came out. They had they had already hit the street. Shout yeah. out to PC. They helped I mean, us. They, helped they us. helped niggas. Yeah, they helped. Because, man, they helped niggas was not eating pussy far. like that. See, J-Rock really was, you know, J-Rock used to always talk about eating pussy at Cirque. If y'all yes. eat Cirque, you know what I mean? I was getting my ass ate in 2009, too. So, we just be like, Ooh, I, was, I was getting my pussy ate. I was getting Mother my ass ate, too. was eating too. my pussy, bro. I didn't even know how to shave that bitch. That was probably tasting nerve. That was probably tasting hair, bitch. I didn't even know how to shave that motherfucker. I was eating my pussy. They were eating it. Like, <laughs> like just eating them motherfuckers. <laughs> I, I, really, really, you know, I don't really. Eat pussy is an art, too. You know, niggas it don't is. know how to eat pussy. Like, you know what I mean? I feel yeah. like girls know how to eat pussy better than niggas. Do. I feel like I know how to eat pussy. I say that all the time. Better than a lot of niggas. When it's yeah, eating, girls. Feel like a nigga eat it kind of slow. Then I like the fast. I don't know. I'm in between right now. Yeah, <laughs> see, but what, what's the best way for a man? If y'all could tell a man how to do it the best way, what would y'all give him the best but advice? I wanna for hear, me, I wanna stay feel, on my click. And yeah. I, I wanna feel them, them taste else. buds on my mother. Stay on clip. the click. Stay yeah. on the But see, look, I'm gonna tell y'all this because I've been to a sex, I've been on a, went to a sex course. They okay. tell you to don't just attack the clip. Like not that, attack it. Yeah, yeah. don't but, just stay on the clip. You ain't got to go at it aggressively. Like, but don't. But she just said attack it. If you know, I didn't say attack it. Eat the pussy whole. That ain't it. Nah, yeah. <laughs> no, ain't no Guys, don't, don't eat the hoe. I'm going to tell all y'all. Don't eat the hoe. Yeah, that that don't ain't do it. nothing for me. Like, you can lick it, but, you know, yeah. up, up. Oh. I had the guy nigga Damn near to like, the belly button, guys. You know what I'm saying? I need your forehead <laughs> to touch my belly button, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I know you at the right When I say spot. stay on there, that don't mean just nod nah at it, like, do some little tricks on it, but I need you to stay <laughs> on your I like when a nigga okay. lick my shit. I like when a nigga, um, like, kiss on my leg. Oh, and don't and spit in my shit. And then they lick my, they kind of, like, spread it with their hands. 
What is that? What you say, baby? Don't, don't spit in my shit. It's gross. Y'all, a nigga done spit on my shit, too. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> down there. It is what it is. But I don't know. That was like, I most niggas don't like do this. that, though. You spit Respect in my shit, I'm going to be like, Most niggas don't do that. But I like when niggas like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Are you a spitter? No. Okay. No. Just okay. I don't even like my dick to get spit on. Okay. Somebody ever spit on your Don't spit on me, period. Yes, they, that's. That's how I know. It be I don't like, like itty bitty spit. It don't be like. It don't no, matter. I don't like. I just nah, don't, don't like it. Don't spit on me at all. I don't like it. Oh okay. Don't spit on my shit. Don't spit. Yeah. I'm with the shit. It's a golden though. dick. Don't like, spit on it. Depends on the nigga. I don't know. Like. Don't well, I like when niggas shit. like eat my pussy real slow and they like lick it like hard but slow and then they put their tongue on there. On like, where? On, on where? the clit. Like and they just uh, the look clit. at me. Yes. And at they the like it be like. Is it clear at the top? I'm trying to see because you know pussies are made different. Yeah, I'm tell my y'all, shit is buried. I, I, I don't see. know how people find. I my got shit. a regular see? looking vagina. Yeah, me like too. The book, the like you have to, vagina. you have to lift okay. it. You have to like mine's is buried compared to some people because yeah, it's like the regular. Clit hangs out. Yeah, clit like, hangs. Yeah. yeah, I like when niggas just put their tongue on me and they be looking at me like they innocent. <laughs> I be like, oh my god, do your mama know you doing this? Yeah, I got Jay over here about to run out the window. <laughs> do your mama know you eating pussy like this? You. Boy, you crazy. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. I love you, like, for real. Oh, but you know be making I don't, love like it. I don't like it when you, um, this is just me. I don't like the slurping sound. I, like like, I don't like the slurping sound. Okay. I don't like that. Me, okay. like, me, use your my fingers. pussy is not like a dick. Like, I can understand yeah. why the niggas like the slurping sound, because the vibration, it be on your dick, and I and I do that. Because I but can feel the inside of your jaw. Like, nigga, like, don't do that don't slurping do that. thing, because then I'm a, cause I don't like a wet ass either. <laughs> like, I don't want my... Oh, you can wet me the fuck up. I don't want my... I don't know. Like, sometimes I don't want no foggy ass. If I... Everything Stand up and my ass ain't dripping. It's yeah, no, everything got to be wet. He ain't doing it right. He ain't I don't know. Win. See, that's but you know I don't really I'm like. Yeah, that's what I like said. Anybody. I just and just gotta find out like what she like because that's that's the whole key. Find and out what bro, she like. And most dudes don't even care what a girl they like. They, they just trying to go for what they know. <laughs> and I've been trying to tell them like, P, you can ask her what she like. Ask her, does that feel good right there, or do I need to move to another spot? What's wrong with that? You want to get it right, don't you? That shit be feeling so good, motherfucker. Be sucking on your shit, bro. I be like, damn. On what? And Suck I did on... a nigga head like this on my pussy. Suck it on my pussy. <laughs> Suck it on my yeah. nigga head. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck wrong with me? I don't know. Who raised you? Don't I don't know. know. Whoa, Whoa, bitch. This shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I be wanting to fuck some if you really got some good head, bro. And a, a must during head for me, I don't know. And maybe because I am a penetration freak. Freak. If you got shot? clean nails, you gotta use your fucking fingers, bro. Like mm-hmm. fingers are oh, needed. They be doing mm-hmm. like that, and they be like putting that. it, mm-hmm. putting in your pussy. But see, wait, but but if some you don't, girls don't I like fingers. Don't, don't pick you see? your fingers you see? nowhere near my fidelity, bro. Like. I don't know. I just, I don't know. She like, said she don't like that. So see, like you see that. why men are confused out here? Y'all can't just be, be just That's why you should dogging niggas out. You can't eat pussy. You don't know how to eat Damn, pussy. the girl before you liked it like this, and I thought that you might like no. it the same no, way. No, 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 I was, shit. If you don't know how to eat pussy, I'm not going to dog you because you don't know how to eat pussy. Either. I'm going to be either. mad because you don't know how to eat pussy, <laughs> and I'm going to be like, this is what you're supposed to do. Thank you. I will instruct a nigga while he's in between my legs before I talk about it. I just want a nigga face down there. I'll be just happy. Like, good. Niggas don't know. I'm telling y'all, niggas don't know because right niggas' dad ain't even telling them, hey, go to the right clinic here. and get checked. They ain't, yeah. you know, so they niggas don't even know don't. what to do. So, and I'm gonna tell y'all that I got checked this week. You know what I mean? Hey, know your status. Know your goddamn status. And my dad had diabetes as well, so you know what I mean. I had to go get checked. My dad okay. got his foot cut off <gasps> about a month Ooh, ago. Like big mama. Oh. Yeah, like big mama. My dad got one foot now. One, one leg, sad. like real shit. Like, is it like from the knee down or from the ankle down? From the down? knee down. It started out just yeah. his foot. They cut his whole shoe off. Like, that bitch just blew up while he was driving one day. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. They Girl, cut his whole foot I used off. to have to take people to get amputated, and I used to take their leg after they after I took them to the... Ugh. Yeah, take their leg. It's heavy as I hell. couldn't even go see my dad in the <laughs> hospital. Yes, like, and then I, I take them it. afterwards. Like, I was a transport at a hospital. Yeah. Like, that shit is so... Oh, God. Like, Does my job was important because I had to talk to him it? before a, a I surgery. Yeah. How do you... Prosthesis? He don't got a prosthetic leg. Okay. Um, Actually has a walker mm-hmm. and a wheelchair. Right okay. now. Yeah, that mug is hard to deal with. I had to really have to deal with that at the hospital that I worked with. Bro, your health is your wealth. You have to know. Yeah, you gotta know. Like, and there be a whole bunch of niggas know. that ain't married. I know people don't like, to, I know niggas don't like to get married. I don't know what y'all at with that status right now. But a whole bunch of niggas that be in hospitals be 
unmarried because they let a sore grow on their foot because mm-hmm. their wife is on them. Or like, even if they are in the hospital, they, they, they hospital room smell good as fuck. You get what I'm saying? Like, they wife in there, like, asking shit. Like, they be the first ones to go in there and the first ones to fucking leave. So, I'm just saying, if you in the older, if you're an older man listening, you need to get you a wife. <laughs> because, because they gonna take bitch, care of you. Because they gonna really take care of you. They are gonna make sure that you straight. Because yeah. motherfuckers really do be coming there because they yeah. had a sore on their foot and it crusted over. Yeah. And now they have to get their leg cut off or their foot cut off. This shit be crazy. Yeah. So, I got I'm a couple of questions yeah. for you, Smooth. Yeah, I, I um, how many shots y'all taking? We take, take another one. Take another one, my nigga, because I can get fucked up. Y'all know I wasn't really drinking last week, so mm. I'm it's ready. Friday. We turning up tonight. What you mean? It's what, Friday. What's, what's the play tonight? Where y'all going? You know what? I usually got a knockout, but I'm not dressed for it today. So uh, knockout. What's that? Knockout boy right here on uh, Riverfront. I don't know nothing. Right about down it. the street. It's where they they. It's a nice little bar. Ain't DJ Swerve is the DJ. Okay. On I Friday fuck night. With I fuck with Swerve. I fuck with Swerve. That's my really motherfucking nigga. Real really nigga. He cool. And I didn't know he was so young, but he cool. On one of the real ones. How old is he? Swerve is, he's, he's like your age. I'm not going to say he's super young, but I've dealt with older niggas, so. You 27, 28? I'm 27. I'm 27. She said, <laughs> I don't know. I really be thinking I'd be older than what I am. I don't know how old I am. Swear to God. You know, I'm believing age. Yeah, because I'd be like, am I 28? I'd be really thinking I'm older than what I am. Because, I mean, you got to look at what you go through. That's what make you your age. Boy, like, so you let's, I worked in a warehouse and in a ghetto mm-hmm. ass call center. I'm 32, real life. Yeah, see, real <laughs> life. See, that's what Ain't I'm saying. Ain't nobody been with what I've been through, bitch. Yeah, that's see? what I try to tell my mama, yeah. bitch. I you didn't even work like, in a warehouse. <laughs> I must be 40, bitch, because I worked at the uh, post office overnight. So, or like FedEx. So like, wait, I got a question. Nigga, you trying to shoot this you in the warehouse? Uh, they was asking me. They was just really surprised. That that was betting on me. Like, is she going to uh, leave? Like, watch. Look at her. She about to oh, leave. Oh, like you weak. Like yeah. you couldn't do the job. And then they was like, why okay. are you here? Like, I was, it felt like I was in jail because <laughs> they was all ex-cons. They was like, bro, you need a better job than this. Why are you here? I was like, I can't find a job. Well, you <laughs> that, it was really, really well, hard you, for her to find a job Yeah, it was time. really like, yeah. But they Everybody helped me. Them ex-cons and, and them ex-felons, they I actually helped know. me, even though they stole my fucking popsicle. Where they, <laughs> they told, where, they where, where was y'all working at? I got some feeling I got. I worked at Atrium, Atrium. and they okay. hire you on the spot. My friend was like, "That's well, your you fault." you got tattoos they were all over you. They don't give a damn. They hire yeah. you on the spot. My friend yeah. was telling me, she was like, "That's your fault for uh, applying to a warehouse." I said, "Bitch, so you don't even fucking know. You don't apply, bitch. You just walk in and get the job, ho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't apply at no motherfucking warehouse. Like, if you breathing and you got two of your legs, bitch, like you, you wanted some money. She, <laughs> yeah, you just knew I gonna get some money yeah. real quick. So yeah. I wanna yeah. ask why you was working at the warehouse because when shit. it was graveyard shift, right? Yeah, Overnight. but we worked for it. I did four shit, four hours. Like, that was see everybody. You crying up on Snap? Uh uh. She was crying in that No, hell no. Nah. I was just <laughs> melting shit together. <laughs> I got uh, a scar, okay. everything, bro. I shouldn't have been in there. You got a war wound? Yes, it's gone now. I, I I dislocated my shoulder at the post office, so I understand. And I worked the graveyard shift. I worked from 10, I like from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So these niggas that I work with, most of them, it was pretty much come as you are type niggas. How long so, was you yeah, delivering mail or you was like no, stocking? Nobody delivers oh. mail at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. That's asking. That's like, I was what's called a sorter. Okay. A mail processor. Okay. So I put mail in a machine. I took it out of the machine. I put it back in the machine. I took it out of the machine. Mm-hmm. I took it to the truck. It had to be at the truck by 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. So... It was very hard on a woman. So you was one of the people that used to switch the packs on the trucks. Man, sorry. <laughs> Listen, the only time I had a problem with being at work is when them dogs was there. I was like, deuces. I, I, they would always give me a head up before nah, I got to work on that shit. But them niggas used to live double lives, bro. <clears throat> they had whole work wives. I bet. Bitches that they, because we used to work anywhere from 10, 12, 16, 18 hour shifts. Ooh. So, yeah, I think you got to get one in between 16 hours, 18 hours. <laughs> you know what I'm Baby, saying? They used to leave hour. on break because we had like two, three-hour breaks. And That's shit. how it is at call centers. It wasn't Mom. like that at the, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just green to the shit. I was really trying to fuck with this light-skinned boy that I still haven't seen to this day. So something <laughs> must be wrong with him. He must bro. beat bitches, got AIDS or something because God is keeping me away from him. That nigga <laughs> is fine, bro. But, like, they wasn't, like, on it. Yeah. Like, they thought that I was cute and shit like that. But they was really just like, bitch, look. This is who hiring. This is where my girlfriend work. Like, because you need to get the fuck up out of here. I they was telling you about me. your situation. That I situation. pulled up to my job, bro, and I walked halfway through the parking lot. 
and I just turned around and went back home. Them <laughs> niggas was like, Morgan was here. I seen her in the parking lot. She just turned around. Fucking bitches. <laughs> Why would you say that to my supervisor? <laughs> and then no. I used to just show up and people used to thought that I was fired because I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do that. <laughs> Half of our cameras didn't work, so niggas was fucking any and everywhere. No, my, no, I was in the union, so we used to have the lobby's union parties, and we used to be drunk on the job. Like they didn't give a fuck about drinking at the, at, at the post office factory. How was um, the warehouse? God. How was they my cleaning themselves like after? After? Oh, oh they got wipes. baby wipes. I think I got OCD or something. Because after you have sex, you gotta get. You want, you need to, uh, they got showers too. They got showers? Hell oh, yeah, that, they that, that's, showers. that's game then. That's Sometimes game. we was there for 18 hours. You yeah, had to have showers. But if you stayed there for 18 hours, you had to have at least eight hours off. Damn. Because somebody had worked like a 22-hour shift, tried to drive home, fell asleep while driving and died. They got, a, they got sued for a lot. But R. let's R. get to know you a little bit. So Hollywood Smooth. Uh, what's your sign? What's my sign? I'm a Virgo. What the fuck? I just had a birthday. What's your I birthday? Had a birthday? August 23rd, first day. My mom said I'm a mixture of a Leo and a Virgo. Got to be. Because I was Gotta born be. on the cusp. Got to be. So, because you, you don't I'm, give me Virgo vibes. I don't write. No. But I think I it's certain days. Mama. My mom, 50. She's so motherfucking cool. She's too. young. She cool as a bird. Yeah, she's Man, young. Sorry. How old are you? a bird. I'm 31. I just turned That's 31. Right. He's, oh. Are you grown grown? Yeah. I'm grown grown. Okay. I'm okay. in here. So, you say you're a Virgo. But I feel birthday. like I'm a kid, though. At heart? A kid. Nah, for real. Because like, I ain't never worked no job. I ain't never had to work for nobody. Nobody ain't never told me nothing. Teach well, your kids privileged. how to make fucking money. I made that song about eating pussy, and I'm telling y'all, okay. I been blessed. I blew up. <laughs> I been yep. blessed ever since. <laughs> I ain't lying. I toured. I went to Mississippi. I went to What's the Louisiana. What's your favorite city you ever performed in? California. Really? Hollywood. That's why I changed my name to Hollywood Smooth. Hey, okay. I'm going to California next week. Turn up. Want a link? Five no, me I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in California like five that. Me I don't up. know. We meet what up you and fire about? up. Nah, California, she you go down. Drugs. Oh, you, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't nah. Why are you going to Cali then? What you talking about for business, boy? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I thought, you, I thought you were going to smoke some weed. No. Mm, no. You know I need an edible to go to Cali to California. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to go to before I go to Cali to smoke weed. She said I'm green as I yeah. want to go to Murder Mountain. No, I'm just playing. I'm not about to go up there with them hick ass white folks. <laughs> okay, so are you single in a relationship? Is it complicated? Man, I'm single, but it's always complicated. I mean, you know. Why is it complicated wait, if you're single? It is always complicated. Boy, girl, because you don't know I mean, where you lie. I mean, because people always want to still be attached to you. Yes. You know what I mean? When you, so when they you know dating? you got something good. Am okay. I dating? No, I ain't really dating. Yeah. Are I mean, you I'm, fucking? Am I fucking? No, yes. I, haven't, I haven't even been fucking. I just had a kid. How many yeah, children, children do you have? have? I got two kids. Two kids. Okay, cool. My son is 12. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, yeah, you, you got, got a grown story. ass baby. You got a grown baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's 12. <coughs> I had him when I was a uh, senior. That nigga seen Martin and everything. A senior at South Oak Cliff. My mm-hmm. senior year. Mm-hmm. Okay. We won state championship, you know. And you got somebody pregnant. I was a high commodity. I had all type of girls <laughs> trying to do all type of things to me. So I used to do some <laughs> things to them. And one of them, I was on a ball one night, and I slipped <clears> up and had a kid. That's okay, so how old your other baby? My re- most recent one, I just had her. She's 11 months. She'll be okay. one next month. Oh, oh baby, what day? exactly how old his baby is. October what? Tonight. Most of my <gasps> don't know my that. My baby's birthday is October 12th. For She's going to be a lion-ass Libra. Get ready. My son's a Libra. I already, I'm already. Is your son a liar? Yeah. Okay. For real? Okay. Yeah. Why yeah. yeah. he be lying? And I know off the rip. It like, be man, like shit. That you, they, they he ain't got a lie. Yeah. Like, shit. Yeah. Like, off like the hey, back. I, I was so good at school today. No, the fuck. No, you wasn't. Were. Your teacher called me. Why you bringing up <laughs> shit? Why you bringing up shit? What happened at school today? Nothing. I mean, what you talking about, nigga? What the fuck? Your teacher called me. <laughs> what you mean? And but then I mean, their favorite thing to say is when they got in trouble. I don't know. What happened? I don't know. That's scary. Well, did you do that? I don't know. You that's, don't know if you did it or not, nigga. That's scary. That's too. really scary. Yeah. I'm trying to break a my six year old from being a liar, but it's hard. I had a spell where I was a liar in the my second son's grade. Too smart. I don't know why I lied all the time. You did. It's because people believed me. I was like, I can just say this and people will believe me. Real talk. Because mm-hmm. you had good credit. That's when my daddy left me. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was falling out of control. <laughs> That nigga lost you the shit now, so I was fuck like, you. Well, I'm just gonna do this, and then my cousin used to always catch me in my lies, and I stopped being a liar. <laughs> but it was like for a clean yeah, six months. Yeah, because she used to come ask me, yeah. Megan, is this you? No, she be lying. <laughs> Nobody asked me what I was going through. Black people don't ask that. They just be like, I don't know what's wrong with her. She lies. My daddy <laughs> left me. Yeah, I didn't I'm know a Virgo. what to do. Was that second grade? And we on Virgos, we don't really lie. 
We more laid back, cool, chill. Virgos are not cool, chill, or laid back. Are you serious? Virgos are very no. dominant, very uh, cocky, very aggressive. I'm cocky. That's, <laughs> that's I, what I believe that. Too, though. True. Yeah, Leo. Leo. That's why I say he's Leo more on the Leo side. Mm, Leos are like sweet what are you? assholes. Like y'all are, y'all are so the best Leos are ever. the best. Yeah. But and we got big hearts. Like my heart's big. You know what I mean? I Virgos do love a lot, love but people. they can love like six people at one time. I, you that's see, I, I see, I love people. Yeah, that's I love up. people. They can love like six motherfuckers at one time. They for really real. love the and shit really out of you. Love them for real. But I mean, yeah. I always ask people that, like, I always think there's a problem. Like, damn, can you really love? That's why I'm yes. in soulmates. Yes, I don't you can't love too. people. Yeah, you'd be like, damn, everybody I meet, but it ain't just me. I think it's them too, because they tell me first, I love you. Like, no, you don't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then I'd be like, damn. See, that's do. that Leo <laughs> shit. <laughs> Leos make me. you tell them, like, they'll do something. You'd be like, I, I love you. <laughs> I yep. just I just love you. Yep. They'll be like, all I yeah. did was make breakfast, bitch. And I'm yeah, like, all I did was did something out the ordinary. I mean, I just feel like he's supposed to put a woman. You know what I mean? He's supposed to spoil, <coughs> temper a woman. Y'all good like, for that. Leo's yeah, Leo's. Yeah. Y'all yeah. Real, real gotta good do that. Spoiler, buy her stuff, take her out. I'll, yeah. I'll Introducing them to new shit. That's uh-huh. why bitches be so crazy, yeah, my nigga. Try Don't Molly. introduce me to some whole new <laughs> shit. Yeah, if I have a to rides and Wait, popping what? bottles of crystal. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bitch, if I lick it ass and shit. Keep me at fucking weed stop. Please, humble me. Show me. No fucking Benny Hanna. Don't take me, me to fuck on the child, nigga. I'm a Cheddar's bitch. Yes, like, <laughs> keep me at Cheddar's. Like, see, nah, now you see, wondering nah, see, why nah. I'm crazy and don't want to go nowhere, nigga. You fuck on the child, me. Shit, I True. be putting, no. See, bitches uh, still uh, ain't been to fuck on the child. I don't even know what that is. nigga put me on some shit. I put my other nigga on it. You hear me? Who you going with? One, oh, I just Googled this place, baby. One nigga put me on Ocean Prime. I had another hoe in there like, baby, this we in this hoe. Big bang. Look, <laughs> berries and bubbles. Like, like, let's get it. Get it like this. Get it. Th- get that it nigga was some motherfucking ghetto. He didn't even know what a wedge salad was. He got that. He's like, y'all ain't gonna cut it up. I was about it. I cut it for you. Yes. Don't. Don't. Yes. I was so trifling. I had a, one nigga get his steak exactly like this other nigga that took me to a steakhouse. Oh, bitch. He was yeah. like, ooh, I'm glad you suggested this. This shit good. I always tell my cousin, I be like, dirty. What I always say, dirty, bitch. Like, ooh, y'all, ooh, females so dirty. Got me trying to make, uh, females dirty. And I think females are dirty now because of the, the reputation that men have, like, from the past. Mm-hmm. So now women now, they just like, oh, no, I ain't going to be done like that. I ain't no nigga going to do me like, no way. I'm, you wrong I'm doing you do them me. like, yeah, I'm going to be the <laughs> nigga, one that do all. You. It's like, damn. Fuck your friend, God, bitch. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> like before you fuck my friend. Really <laughs> I seen you looking at a bitch. See, <laughs> I, I am a retired friend fucker. So Ugh, Courtney. I'm sorry. I'm I used to solo. I'm I used sorry. to fuck friends. I mean I used to homie hop. I'm, I don't no, I I no shame to homie hop on purpose. I I never homie hop. I didn't do it on purpose, but <laughs> it was like I other. went through a circle of niggas. <laughs> At a group, uh, a point in time, it was like, damn, you know him, and then y'all know each other, and then y'all know each other. It came mm-hmm. back full circle on my ass. So glad none of them had good dick, so I didn't have to go back. <laughs> but oh, I was shit. a notorious homie hopper for a long time because I always ch- felt like I chose the wrong friend. Like, oh, wrong nigga, might as well. Hey, I feel like that's the worst thing ever. Like, have you ever bitch, been in there? You have bad dick. Like, that's like over for a man. Like. I, I'm telling y'all, because it's hard to have a bad pussy. Like, you know what I mean? It's hard like, to have a bad pussy. I've pussy always wondered what bad pussy is. If your no. pussy stinks, no. then it's worse. Like, that's terrible. Like, bitch, you lost at the end of the day. Like, that's as worse as you can get for a pussy. Like, y'all had pussy, some stank pussy before? I had a bitch try to give me a stank pussy before on the road, like in Arkansas. Arkansas got the stankiest pussy ever. I'm oh, you right Rod. Now. Go to Arkansas, I mean, you better it, watch out. What do it smell like? Describe the oh, smell, God. please. What, like, what's a bad smelling pussy? I'm going to tell you this. It's like, you ever been to a swimming pool and you smell all that chlorine? Yeah. It's that strong. Oh, shit. So, p- bad pussy is that strong. Like, yeah, and she can't even smell it. That's the bad thing about it. She tried to they give me that smell shit it. like it was... If you stink, you can smell it. You don't think that somebody else smell that shit. You don't think that somebody else smell it. I'm going to tell y'all this. Right, because I when I get a little musty, I'll be ready to hit the showers immediately. If her jeans come off, fellas, and that shit is... Just rank? I'm talking about that shit was like in my nostrils. I don't want to talk about this no more. I do. That mug is funny as hell. <laughs> because motherfuckers understand, like, your pussy can't be nothing but good. That's and then it can just elevate from there. That's like, like motherfuckers like, I got good pussy. Duh, bitch, you supposed to, bitch. Like, I never <laughs> beat a woman ever in my life, but that night... You hit her? 
Nah, I want. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? I wanted to take her out. I wanted to kill her. <laughs> Try to give me that dirty, nasty, infested, raw, fishy. Ugh. Oh, okay. Like, was on the bus? No, nah, this was a hotel. Like you oh. came home to the hotel. We was at the club. Like you know, you think a chick would go take Did a shower before you come. Yeah, she was fine as hell. Nigga, if you if you got if you got fine as hell. a nice, I mean, if you have <clears throat> good hygiene, even when you leave the club, your pussy not gonna be stinking. It might be a I little agree. musty. It might I be a little sweaty. A little sweaty. It might be a little sweaty. You a little salty, you but you, after little three, three licks, I'm after saying three licks, a baby wipe can fix all that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's past three licks, it's just like, bitch, y'all pussy How many was like this before. She don't know right here. She's a bad one. Right, like you didn't shower. Swear to God, after three licks, it's just like, bitch, you got some, like. You know. Because I didn't add a bitch pussy fresh off of work. You know. I'm telling you, so, I mean. That's, yeah. That is what it is. Oh, God. That's crazy. That shit is funny. Yeah, women funny to get, and any woman that try to give you some bad pussy feelings, I say you don't hit them, just give them to, <laughs> give them to buy you something, and then don't don't fuck with her no more. Because, you know, they don't fuck a bitch up. She buy you some, some diamonds or something, and then you don't fuck what? with her no more. What? Diamonds? Oh, oh, I only bought Jordans. Okay, that's it. That was my bag. I buy a nigga with some diamonds. See them low budget. Well, no, I say, I say, I thought you nigga wants some Jordans. Like, I fuck with low budget. I paid it, ten dollars two years ago, so I'm this, making my way up. Go put this on your go put this on your bank account that you ain't even paid for yet. I want to be in your pocket for some months. Baby. I can't do that. Yeah. Diamonds or for a year. Pay for I bought a nigga a two iPhones. Diamonds. and that was I just my bought limit. gold a year ago. Like. Diamonds. I'm telling you, diamonds? if a bitch buy a nigga diamonds, oh, that nigga gonna do whatever. How much is a diamond? Two iPhones is a good gift. How much is a diamond? Like That's a lot of money. Oh, 150 When them hoes first came out, I think that was the second one. one second there. generation. You talking about the small ones? 150 for a small one. 150, 150. I wish the fuck I would. A real diamond. See, I can't wait. I, I, I like diamond. tricking on my nigga. Oh, like, my nigga. I do too, but like, you gotta call me back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never yeah. bought somebody oh, real jewelry before. Baby, I barely bought myself I thought real cash. jewelry. You supposed to get at me. No, I understand. I'm just not on that level right now. I'm I'm sticking to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. So. <laughs> Diamonds. <laughs> I'm so, just thinking, I'm not gonna be. So <laughs> y'all, it's a good feeling once you get a nigga that's yours and yes. you just cash out and you trick on that nigga. It's like, mm, yeah, bitch, yeah, I got I, back too. But y'all really wait, tricking, wait. tricking. Hold on, wait. Let's, let's go into this though. You said yours was yours. We together. Huh? My nigga. Yeah, we together. Like your ring on it, cause he ain't yours if ain't no ring on it. Yeah. Mm. He mine in my head. Me, type oh, yours, yours <laughs> yeah, because I got a nigga in my head. Yeah, mine that's, in that's my head. That's my nigga, and I'm doing. In head. I wanted to, I wanted to speak on this shit today because I have speak a nigga it. that I fuck with. That's yours. my nigga in my in, in my mind. Head. No, no, how'd it go? Okay, okay, so no, no my, my last nigga, that <laughs> was my nigga. Know. Like we didn't have no ring or anything, but but y'all were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, like I'm talking about my nigga. Oh yeah, like my nigga. Yeah, if, if I'm I don't, I don't, I don't cash like, out on my. I'm saying, mine, that's what I'm saying. When these diamonds, like after you pay for these diamonds and I leave, you want your diamonds back? One fifty. No, you can have that shit. Yeah, you See, can you're have it. You a real nigga, dude. Like saying? I don't want you. A lot of women want that back. No, I don't want my jewelry back. The money I already spent. I want my jewelry back because I can trade it in. with some. I can't bring your Jordan. I ain't gonna lie, like I'm not gonna want my jewelry back because it's gonna remind me of you. No, I'm gonna hold it, babe. Whatever I don't buy for your relationship. Or if you to leave, or y'all sucker. break, or we break up, you can keep that shit. If I bought you a TV, keep that shit. If I bought you a house, keep that shit. If yeah, I bought if you, I'm keep that shit. But if I bought you a house, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it depends on if I'm at that status because yeah. it's just like I don't really want the shit back. Yeah, like you I'm not gonna want anything back. A house. She said a house. You if, I, if I got it like that, I buy yeah. the, the nigga I fuck with right now, yeah. my nigga right now, I buy the nigga a house. Really if he said I needed a house, life. I, just, I buy the nigga a house. Real. You got me house fucked too. up. We got 10, my nigga, because they did not leave until 713. Exactly. <laughs> so tell uh, Kevin, duh. I said we got 10 minutes. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I got this nigga that he can text me right now and say, wrap it up, you got to go. I'm unplugging my phone what? out the wall. Damn. Girl, you playing. Just, it's a bad boy. No lie. It's a bad That's boy. my I nigga. Can't. See, I'll, I'll be like, like, I'll I'll be like younger okay, I'm not baby, like that just now. give me like 10 minutes, then I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or if, if he say, okay, no, I need boy. you now, I like I got to go. Now. He like, need to, like, need to fuck you now? This whole, I'm going to give y'all a scenario. This is oh, a scenario you, where I got my... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. Right. fuck you now. Yeah. The scenario where I got my keys thrown out the window. Oh, so I had shit. a boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. This was my real boyfriend. We were going together, but I didn't want to really be in a relationship. I don't know why I got a boyfriend. Got a boyfriend. It happened to me a Broke up with ago. him. Damn. 
and we weren't together. Went over the girl I was fucking with house. Oh, and had fucked with her multiple times. And I called my boyfriend. I was like, hey, um, come over. I want some dick type shit. He was like, okay, cool. Where you at? Asked me where I was at. He came through. He was like, you, going, you coming back to the crib with me? I was like, nah, let's just fuck in the car. I feel it. Farike, let's just fuck in the car. He was like, okay, bet. My nigga. Yeah, they do. My nigga. The car is the most place people have sex. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I said, my so ass. Great. Like it's great. It's great. It's fucking can't wonderful. Run. I fucked in the shit. I can yeah. Yeah. take that shit. Those bitches are spacious now. <laughs> no run. That's the, that's, that's the best place. But so yeah. I, the, my <laughs> nigga FaceTimed me. Sporadic. For sporadic sex. Out, out the blue. I hadn't talked to him that whole week. He FaceTimed me. Okay. He said, I wasn't going to answer. My boyfriend said, hey, your phone. My ex-boyfriend said, hey, your phone ringing. I was pants down. Finna get fucked from the back. By my ex boyfriend. Wow. My nigga called me. I pulled up my pants out motherfucking quick. I said, I got to go, sir. He was like, What you mean you gotta go? I said, My nigga is calling. I got to go. <laughs> he was like, Are yeah. you serious, bitch? And this nigga ain't never called me out my name. I was like, Real Yeah. Time. He was like, You dirty ass hoe. Real I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to take that because I didn't even I mean. let you stick it in yet. But I got to go because my nigga. He took my, well, my, I left my keys in his car. He threw them hoes out the window like, fuck your keys. She couldn't find hey, it for days. I couldn't I find them this for nigga. This days. This is a bad Could, nigga. Man, she he bad six foes. He I'm just, on, he got I'm a ball thing. Time, but that's, I, I was on people's time when I was younger. Like, oh, you in Houston? Let me draw to Houston. And, uh, and from yeah. Dallas, that nigga can say. Like, when I was younger, like, yes, but like, when I'm older, bitch, my, I'm already <laughs> laying down in my bed. I act like I ain't see that text message. Oh, right. bitch, I'm still on the same no shit. Text. Like, uh, when <laughs> you not no you text. not have when you was young, you answer the phone like you wasn't sleeping. Oh, what's up? Yeah, uh, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I do that for That's that I was nigga. When I was, when you I was young, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I wasn't even sleep. Like, he was like, yeah. you you got on clothes, you good? I was like, yeah, let me turn on the light so you can see. Like, I'm totally up. Nigga was knocked the now fuck this, out. This the master question. Do he do the same thing for you? Every time I call. Every time. And it's not often though. That's no, how my boyfriend real. was. Every no, I'm just saying. I when I need call. you, I need you. I need you. I, I, I need you. you. I need you. It ain't no. I'm hitting you up and I don't need you for real. That's what That's I feel about my boyfriend. Need you or what? My it's reciprocated. That was really but like if I, I don't do it him, often. He picked yeah. up every single time. If I was stuck in snow. He was there in 15 minutes. Like, that's what that's I would say. Shit. Like, he put gas in my car. Oh, Lord, my nail. He put gas in my car. He shit. gave me, um, he used to steal people's food stamps for me so we can eat. That's like, if he shit. didn't have no no money, that's like, he made sure everything was straight. And he, like, that's shoveled real. my snow. So, like, that's what I said. Like, that's it was, like, nigga. really reciprocated. So, if he asked me for money, it wasn't like, oh, my God, my nigga asked me for money. Like, he bagged it up in different ways that other niggas would not do. Took out my trash, yeah. making sure everything is clean because he was a clean freak. He was like, you want me to help you clean? Let's uh, organize this. I all real niggas mm-hmm. in the world because, I mean, it's, it's, it's very rare and fruit. You know what I mean? Every it single is. time I called him, and he he's not even from Dallas. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I, can I see want that. him to be from Dallas so bad, but he's not. On some G shit, it's a lot of lame niggas in Dallas. I it hate is. to tell y'all, and I, I feel sorry oh for the God, women. Oh my God, thank you so I much for saying that. I feel sorry for the women. I, I, I see, and when I so go much. out, and I see these lame niggas, I be like, God. Damn, I, feel I thought it was just me. I just didn't want to sound like no bitter ass bitch because when a nigga and, when a bitch say some shit, she bitter. You like, know, you nigga. go out, you see niggas be successful shooting at girls and hollering at girls. You see niggas in Dallas, you be like, damn, this nigga don't even know how to holler. At no not even, like, not even a little. You know, I see it. so many groupies in Dallas. It's it makes me want to throw niggas up. And, uh, a lot of people, <laughs> like, I can't say everybody, but motherfuckers want to be around male energy. <laughs> I just yeah, realized. Like, that, they don't really care about pussy like that. Yeah. They, they want to fuck with you. They'd rather on, be with 10 niggas in the section. That's what I will say about being single. A nigga want to fuck with you on his time. I'm like, nigga, like, if that's every once a week, if that's every day, that's true. he's not budging. He already got his that's motherfucking shit. head. He got his shit set up. That's You're what right. I'm saying. Like, motherfuckers right. be thinking, I'll be like, Especially fuck a nigga that's got something going on. Yeah, exactly. Motherfuckers be thinking, I'll with lames, I'm just not on your time. Like, and I noticed that's how a lot of my friends be getting done. A lot of bitches be getting done. They be horny as fuck because they only get dick once a week. Yep. Or they only get dick every twice, every two weeks because that nigga's only fucking with you yep. when, when he, he wanna wants fuck to fuck with you. Yeah. Not texting you back, like nothing. That's like really <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I gotta change the type of nigga I fuck with. That's really so nigga, <laughs> if, if if my nigga don't text back, he know that I'm slow in the head, like I'm a little bit retarded, I'm pulling up. Like <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm pulling up to your job and that nigga work an hour away. I'm pulling up to your house if you're not answering. I see why your nigga like that because you crazy. I'm crazy as the <laughs> fuck, but it's only for selective niggas. We could just be fucking and I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to no, switch you like that. We could be homeboy and homegirl and exchange bodies a couple of times, but we not. I'm not going to be on your dick like that. That's real shit. But I do it to my friends, too. Like, my real, real close friends. Yeah. If I call my friend and she not answering the phone. Nigga, I'm pulling up. Bitch, I'm pulling up. Like, Fuck where the fuck on. is you at, my nigga? Yeah. Like, are you dead? Because I got your location on my phone, bitch. I shared your location the last time we was together indefinitely. So, I need to know where the <laughs> fuck you at. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. I uh, asked a question yeah. on Instagram today. And I told somebody to send in a freaky tale. We was going to start a segment called Freaky Tales. So, I want this to be our very first, since we only got a few minutes left. Mm-hmm. And this girl, a, <laughs> this, this girl a fool, y'all. She a freak. She a real freak. Yes. A She's freak. anonymous. We gonna keep her anonymous. God damn. You she know I read fast. She freak every day, mm-hmm. baby. Yeah, you do. Every day, baby. Don't so, take off. <laughs> she says, so I, I'm going to be anonymous. I used to have a boyfriend in high school, and he had a group of close friends he was always with. So, of course, I'm cool with them and whatever. So, that's how I met his friends. And they was always cuter than Bitch, the one I robbed. had. I'm sorry. Real shit. I got my shit stole like that. You, bring, you come your ass over here. Don't bring your friends over here. The fuck? So, she put the, <laughs> the pussy crying face. Yes. Then she said, skip Ooh, to now. Y'all the, know something, boy. She said, my and two homeboys started hitting me up simultaneously, and I messaged back both of them. We taking, we talking and shit, and they invited me over separately, and I always blew it off because. But this one time, look, I was high as hell and bored, so I said, "Fuck it," drove over there, and baby, they thought they had their own live sex toy. So I think these niggas, these homeboys, that stay together. So I don't really know why they was always together. Most niggas ain't so got she, shit. Yeah, so yeah, she said, "So yeah, I'm Dallas. fucking the this one nigga in the room niggas and the other shit. one." Dot com. <laughs> you get it, bro. Dot com. I'm telling you. Dot com. This is Dallas. I've been on my nigga, like, it's, it's <laughs> niggas on my nigga on couch for forever, and I'm oh, good. He's the only motherfucker that's really telling the truth about Dallas I'm, niggas, I'm bro. keeping it like, real. Like. So she said, so I'm, so I'm fucking the one nigga in the room, and the other is in the living room, and he walks in, so I start sucking his dick. So now I'm getting one in the front and one behind me, feeling like a star. Jesus. Then we, <laughs> then we all switch around while we fucking, and he just talking like, "Yeah, what you want? You can have all my paychecks." And I'm like, "Yeah, call me your dirty bitch." <laughs> she Damn. said somehow one of them end up going to get her something to drink while they was fucking, because you know she says she was hot, she know she got cotton mouth. Yeah. She said while I'm fucking, the friend still, and I didn't dip his dick <laughs> in a cup of juice. He then brought in the room and started sucking it off. But one of them one kept wanting me to spit on him. And I'm like, okay, look, bitch, my mouth dry. <laughs> <laughs> she said, then the other friend pours the fucking juice down my ass and starts licking it out my ass. He said, y'all, Ooh. after that, I yeah, blacked crazy. out because I don't I remember shit. I might have blacked out because I don't remember shit else. I hope that was a good one because I think about that shit every day. <laughs> bitch, you took two dicks. Yeah. Like, you gotta be super with and not yeah. up on this shit. Hey. You gotta be a fool. <laughs> Man, be fool. freaky tales. I can't take part two dicks one. At one time. I can't take two di- I don't I be thinking about it time. in my head, but I, I don't do want two niggas. That are okay with being in the time. same room at the same time. See, this I just can't. This I'm gonna tell y'all too. With women and people that do that. See, with women and men that do that, I mean, she gotta be. Like beyond horny, I feel like. like mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. beyond horny. Like I'm talking about beyond and not give a fuck either. You so fucking a bitch with two niggas? I mean, with another nigga? Come on, now I started that shit. Wow, I've never had a nigga admit they would say they would be cool with a MMF threesome. Yeah, hell yeah, I started. Fucking this shit. right. I started DP. This shit. Suck my brother up, bitch. You, you. Oh what? no, I'm saying like, why you, why you in her? Why you in her? Why I'm in her? Yeah, I'm fucking from the okay. back. Suck my brother. So, y'all, that has been another Suck episode. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, bro, look. you. We got to have you back. Yeah, we it's do. Up. Because, like, niggas. This is a real Dallas cool nigga, bro. as hell. Like, motherfuckers oh, yeah, be like, yeah, I'm a nigga. I'm, I'm going to say this. Y'all nah, ask to be like, mm, okay, yeah, nah. that's what you got to do, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he just putting us on game. Yeah, it's Boy, I fuck A lot too. of niggas like I to keep that shit secret like it's. Exactly. Nigga, we need to know. That's stuff we need to know. Need to know information. So we'll have you back. We but will. Bye, y'all. We uh, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Bye. Bye. <laughs>